this land in order. And we're going to start with uh, Charles, give us a prayer. Sure. Oh, we come to you today just uh, thank you for another day. We thank the sunshine you've allowed to be on us today. Lord, we pray for the situation we find ourselves in this country. I thank you for our leaders. I pray for all those nationally and in our state. Pray for our county. Pray for all the citizens of Newton County. And we just pray that everybody would be safe and that this thing will pass soon. But Lord, we know you're in control and we're thankful for that. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We don't have an agenda, uh, but I'm going to turn it over. Okay, well, I talked to, to, to Robbie this morning, uh, and with the confirmed uh, case, of course, we, we all know we knew it was coming, but with our confirmed case, we felt like we needed to go ahead and take some action as it pertained to the CDC guidelines and everything. Um, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a double-edged sword. You have to be the answers. The, the CDC is telling you to limit gatherings, you know, Nevertheless, uh, before you allow entry into a public place, you need to uh, ask them certain questions, uh, take temperatures, you know, of course, all the hand washing, hand sanitizer, and all those. Um, obviously, the governor's already declared a state of emergency. Uh, the World Health uh, Organization has. Uh, the CDC, uh, all of them have guidelines. Now, the thing that we have to be mindful of is that the the state code requires certain offices to remain open, uh, but and, and that those offices are going to be your chancery clerk, circuit clerk, tax assessor, obviously sheriff's department. Um, but it, it doesn't have to be necessarily open in your most general sense. Uh, the board of supervisors does have the authority to limit access pursuant to the guidelines that are that have been handed down with the CDC. And that's that's kind of why we felt like it was a good idea to go ahead and meet to, to identify what those things were, how we were going to conduct business from, from here going forward without being in violation of uh, the, the state law. And I believe what, what Robbie and Robbie, I don't I don't want to talk uh, you know, on your behalf, steal words out of your mouth, and, and if I get something wrong, so if you want to come up and kind of tell them what you've done. Um, I spoke to each one of them this morning, so they know what we're doing right now, and I've talked to uh, Lauderdale, Clark, Jasper, they're all doing the same things. Um, just trying to limit the number of people that come in, and they're screening them before they come in. I think the window has been a big hit outside, because I've seen a bunch of people out there this morning already. I think that's good. Other than that, we borrowed a uh, one of the temperature scanners from Paul that he uses for his air conditioner stuff, and it's pretty accurate, so we're using that too, so we don't have to have physical contact, unless it gives us a weird reading, then she's going to check it with the regular thermometer. Um, other than that, that's that's all we're doing right now. Yeah, so, you know, essentially limit uh, one point of access. Uh, and, you know, if, and I've got a questionnaire for y'all uh, that was recommended uh, by the Supreme Court uh, that they've been using for the court systems for the past week to 10 days. I can't remember exactly. It feels like March has been the longest year uh, we've had. But, um, I mean, is there any, any questions, department heads? How is, how's she wanting to work in that? Well, it's working good. No gripes and complaints. So. Yeah. You can have what you can have. Yeah. It's working. I like it. I've seen several people lined up out there this morning. So. We've had them come in and tell them to go back and go out. So do we need to, maybe, Robbie, you're already doing this, do we need somebody at the door saying only X amount of people in the courthouse so we keep an account of the number of Taxpayers that come through the door and say, well, you might have to wait till somebody leaves. Are we doing that or where are we on that? They're, I know they're doing it in the tax office, but according to the conference call this morning, actually, it don't supposed to be no more than 10 people in the courthouse. Mm -hmm. And that's, yeah. and that's mm -hmm. including, I'm assuming, all offices. Including everybody that works. 
Yeah, well, I'm not sure. Be over by employees. I, I'm not <laughs> sure. Is that what they're saying? I'm not sure that's what they're oh, saying. Oh, it's ten in the group. In the gathering, like this right here, we shouldn't have more than ten. But as far as in the building itself, I'm not. Are you saying that's limited to ten? Well, that's the way I understood it, but maybe I understood it wrong. Now, with it being separate offices, it'll probably be fine as long as you don't have more than that up in each one. Uh, I mean, that's just that's the way I understood it too. You know. Each office, as long as you don't have that many people. Well, we'll be fine. Yeah. I, I think it's just That's present it together. Yeah. But, you know. Jason, you didn't mention Justice Court, but I talked to you yesterday and I met with Sue this morning. And my suggestion to her was they have a pay window that has got a little slot at the bottom of the hole in there. You'd have to go talk in that hole to get something on it. Was to lock the door and let them. If they needed to come in, come in one at a time and not let them get any further than that and sue or both leave either one, whichever one was there to take their money, they could they could keep working and not have any contact or not anything with them. Now if that's the case of the temperature checking, then they need to check the temperature for some I, I told her we would bring her a thermometer over okay. there if they wanted to do that. And I think they got one of the forms that we put on the door here to put on their door also. Jody, as far as you guys, is 
there anything that y'all would add, subtract, modify? <clears throat> we started about two. I'm not sick. Oh my God, talk. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Start about two weeks ago. We're taking all the steps that we know to take right now. Unless something changes, we're going to keep doing what we're doing. Are you able to get the food and all for you? Yes. Yes. Sanitizer also. Yes. Did two go out this morning? Yes. Go ahead, Jack. Oh, I did say Joe. On the phone. Still there, Joe? How are you? Oh, there you go. It's the quietest I've ever heard you. The motion on the floor, motion to accept this resolution. We'll power it by vote of turn. The vote. Second. All in favor? Just got a call from DHS director. They, they, they were instructed by the state to close the doors. Just work from inside, something that they were already in the process of doing anyway. But they left directions how to file and how to get the service that you needed. Kenny, do you know if these central planning the bill, they surely shut down the senior citizens? That's what I was saying. They shut down. The central planning development shut down. Okay. The, the, the whole building. So that that affects the food program and everything. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Anyone else? 